Give God some praise. Amen. After that, and then I was at the altar, and I would just, he said, man, just lift your hands, man. I said, man, I lift them high. Normally, when I, a couple of times I used to go, I used to, you know, have them down here. Because I knew I wasn't right. I knew I wasn't living right. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was just like, man, I got a black out in the car right now. And from as soon as I leave, I am with the light up and just go on my way. Amen. And I'm telling you, too. I'm just watching, man, I hope I'm having something. See, this is the thing. I got to tell the truth, man, because when I was at this altar, man, I lived with my hands and the brother said, man, this side needs you, Jesus. You know, I know, see, normally we come, people come to the altar and say, say the sinner's prayer, and, uh, Lord Jesus, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. What a Lord Jesus? In my heart. And you go out and live like a devil. Right. Let me tell you something. If your mind is not made up, God ain't going to visit you. If your mind is not complete, and say, Lord, if I, if I can't have all of you, I'm going to die. If you can't have that type of mindset, and say, Lord, I want all of you. I need you, Lord. Hey, higher. I was burnt out of female. I was burnt out of money. I was burnt out of everything. I was tired. I was tired. Even though I was in a relationship with a, with another female, I, man, I'm t I was tired. I'm like, man, so when I lift up my hands, and I said, I need you, Jesus, and I need you, Jesus, all of a sudden, my tongue started just, you know, slowing up. I'm like, Jesus. I need you. And then the next thing you know, I fell down. I'm not going play in church like that. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost, I just want to share this, man. The Holy Ghost hit me. I ain't going to be this long on this testimony, man, because the Holy Ghost came into my life, and I got up from the floor. And I said, Lord, I thank you. I looked at my hands. I'm telling you, man, God, I was sitting there a little, looking at my hands. I'm like, Lord, mm. Lord. The, the light was bright, honestly. The light was bright. I'm, I'm sitting on the side. I'm just, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My phone was ringing. And it was a clientele that wanted me to Right and so. I'm delivered, filled with the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, I'm changing my number. Hey. 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 But you know what the Lord said? Keep it. Hey. Okay. Hallelujah. The Lord said, keep it and testify. Yes. All right. All right. Hey. I was dead, and then the Lord started dealing with me, and then I was like, Lord, man. So I'm happy. I'm free filled with the Holy Ghost. And then God you know, went, on, went on my way, answered the phone. I said, man, you got 20 a.m.? Uh, I said, man, at least I got some better than that. You know, I had my slang then. My slang talks, but, you know. But I said, I got something better than that, man. I said, man, what's that? I said, Jesus, man, he saved me, man. Oh, man, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. I said, okay, man, all right, I'll let you, man. You know, okay. I tell you, the Lord started saying, he disconnected from this world. Uh, All right. All right. My, my, my friend here, I used to, you know, we used to always, you know, I just roll up or something because, you know, I had it and, you know, I like here smoke some whatnot and we just roll up, and, you know, and so here they go, call my number. Hey, what's up, boy? <laughs> roll up one. And I'm like, Jesus, behind the phone. And this was a serious matter to you? Yeah. Because I almost wanted to cry. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the truth for the first time in my life. I saw how lost I was. I saw how much I really didn't have Jesus. Y'all got to hear what I'm saying. I saw how much boys that I had in my life. When they were saying that, I felt like they were talking to somebody for me. Because I was, I, was, I was totally different. I was like, no more sin. I said, I ain't going back to those streets. I said, I ain't selling no dope no more. I said, I ain't laying with no fit. I said, if a female come to me, I promise you, I cast the devil out of her mind. I said, she's going to get filled with the Holy Ghost. That, that was my attitude. That was my attitude. Because you know why? Because some can come in the church and act like they say. I said, no, sir. I said, Jesus really said. You want to know why? Because there was a female that I was talking with on the word she was going to church. All right. But I know I was fornicating. All right. All right. Okay. 
Hallelujah. 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 I knew I wouldn't have lived. Right. But when Jesus came into my life, yeah. all of that stuff. I began to talk about Jesus so much over the phone. She said, can you talk about something else? I said, there ain't nothing else I can talk about. Hallelujah. But Jesus, that's all I want. Hallelujah. I didn't know what, I didn't know what else to say. I said, but Jesus. She said, okay, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, go on. Hallelujah. Hey, don't matter to me. Yes, I thank God for my wife on this hour, though, because see, hey, she's, she's, she's really been with me side by side. Amen. Right. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hey man, it's, it's, a, it's a woman of God got delivered through my testimony and testifying somebody I was of the world with. And, um, you know, the Lord is leaving me just here, you know, because, you know, I know this is a soothing crowd. And I tell you, man, guys, that I want to get back into this text, honestly, if I can, just a few more minutes. And um, God bless you, amen. And so um, I just wanted to testify before I get in. You know, God delivered me from a whole lot, but amen. We'll talk about another time, amen. Let's get in here. Um, so, in here it says, you know, that, you know, we're going to go to the book of Ezekiel 33, 5 through 9. We're going to go into correlation with what we just got to read it pretty much. Amen. Y'all all right here? Amen. Amen. I'm glad you got your Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 So now, when I first got saved, I tell you, I broke out in sweat and God led me to Ezekiel, Bishop. He led me right into um, Ezekiel. This, this is another testimony. He led me right into Ezekiel. And I broke down the spread reading the Bible. I didn't know what was going on. Boom. My mother wasn't at the house. It was just. And I was reading out loud. For a second, I was just reading to myself. And I started. And I, and I just couldn't stop reading. And I just kept going through the page. I was like, Lord, Jesus. 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 He heard the sound of the trumpet. Oh, yeah. Took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. <laughs> but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. Right. But if the watchman see the soul come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, uh -huh. if the soul come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Right. The responsibility <laughs> It's upon the preacher. It's upon those that are called to warn. Called to expose. When, the, when people say it's about love, don't get this misunderstood. There are two different types of love. Let me tell you. The Bible said, for the love of this world, people will take care of their own. If you are of this world, people will love their own. But the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. But we always say, well, you know, we, we, we love more and judge less. What about what Jesus said, judge righteously? All right. Come on. Say that. What about that? Amen. Say that. He said, judge righteously. righteously. You can't build a house if you don't judge righteously. Right. You can't put your shirt on the right feet if you don't judge righteously. All right. You can't put your shirt on right if you don't judge righteously. You don't want to go outside your own household. Any kind of way. All right. Say that. You don't want to go on an interview with your hair undone. Right. Because you're judging yourself right. That's why the Bible says in James, on, don't please. leave looking in the mirror and forget how you look. All right. All right. Say that. The Bible said, don't just be hearer of the word, be but be doer. Yeah. And a doer is a producer of his word. Yes, and the first thing you're going to produce is not in people. It's going to be in your own life first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. 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 You're going to bear fruit in your life first. But you know what's going on in this generation? It's so much distraction. Yeah. It's so much stuff that is on TV that is not pertaining to the true gospel of this message. The Bible says all sinful nations have gone away backward, have forsaken the laws of the Lord. As I look and I say, Lord, why I'm here? When I read this scripture and I ask God, use me, Lord. And then all my friends, they have gone and left. But I'm still standing in the word of God. Hey, because I know hey. everything else is going down. I know it. But God's word. Yes. That's the only thing that's going to stand in the last day. Hey. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Shout glory, somebody. In verse 7, it says this. It says, So thou, O son of man, I have sent thee a washing unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, who are you to judge? You call him wicked and you ain't no different than him. Right. Who are you to tell him he's wicked and he needs to turn right. from his sins? Right. You better watch who you're listening to. Because right. I promise you, you're going to find out yourself in a place that you don't want to go. That's right. Amen. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. 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 Let me read the Bible and it says this. If thou do not speak to warn the wicked right. from his way, All right. that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Right. But his blood will I require at your own hand. Right. Even if you proclaim to be a child of God right. and you say you have Jesus in your life yeah. and you say you love him, you say you serve him, yeah. and then you find out that when somebody walking in sin, right. the Bible said that open rebuke is better than secret love. Right. If you don't warn your neighbor, right. the Bible said if you love thyself as you love your neighbor, you got to bring warning. You can't just rub that demon. You can't just rub a devil on their back. You got to say, come out of them. You got to be delivered. You got to be set free. But now we living in a day and time. A generation that don't want to hear sound doctrine. The Bible says in Timothy that they're going to be out there itching ears. Listening unto the fables. The Bible said also in Timothy that they're going to be taking on seducing spirits. And the doctors of devils. They're going to be forbidden to marry. And I know that's what's going on now. But thanks be to God. He raising up a generation that's living holy. What is holy, preacher? Keeping yourself pure. What is holy, preacher? Stop your cursing and big fighting. What is holy, preacher? your knees and pray and say, Lord, save me. Lord, I need you. Lord, I'm sorry. The Bible said, God is sorrow. Well, what is repentance? Don't only be sorry. Turn yourself and leave. The Bible said, turn yourself. God don't have to turn you. Your mama don't have to turn you. I know the prayer is good, but it's up to you. All I gotta do is preach it. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at the mailman. You don't be mad at the mailman, do you? When your mail is on your way. When you order on Amazon. When you order on eBay. You order your favorite shoes you've been wanting. You order your favorite shirt that you've been looking for. That you was expecting, hallelujah. But it's a come in your mail. Because you wrote the right address. But now I'm at your address. Good evening, family. I just got to preach a word from the Lord.